Welcome to the NASA Space Apps Challenge. In this video, we'll show you how to choose a challenge and form or join a team. NASA Space Apps releases challenge summaries first, followed by the full challenge statement closer to the hackathon. Participants should not begin work on their projects until the hackathon begins to ensure a fair and equitable process. Challenges are created by NASA subject matter experts that cover a variety of science, technology, and artistic disciplines, just to name a few. There are challenges for everyone and for all skill levels. To participate in the NASA Space Apps Challenge, participants must select a challenge and submit a project in response to the task it poses. To choose a challenge, head to the NASA Space Apps website at spaceappschallenge.org. From there, click the Explore the Hackathon button at the main menu and click Challenges to see this year's challenges. You can sort through the available challenges by clicking the filter icon near the search bar and searching the tags you'd like to search by. You can also search for a challenge by name using the search bar. Please note that the Create Your Own Challenge is not eligible for global judging. Once you've found a challenge you're interested in, select the challenge for more information. When challenge summaries first open, you'll only see a short explanation. When the full challenge statements are released, you'll see more information, including background and potentially a video from the challenge author, objectives, and potential considerations. You will also see the resources tab with example resources. This is free and open data provided by NASA and space-based data from our space agency partners. To be considered for a global award, you must use at least one resource from the NASA resources. Once you've chosen a challenge, you can join or form a team. Participants must be part of a team to submit a project. You can either create your own team or join an existing team. Teams can range from one to six members, but the ideal size for a team is four to five people to balance skill sets. Teams cannot exceed six members. Also, all team members must be registered for the same local event. If you have any questions about forming a team, please refer to the team formation guide on the resources page. There are three ways to find teams. You can visit your chosen challenge page and navigate to the Teams tab. There, you can either join an existing team or create your own. You can also navigate to the Find a Team page from under Explore the Hackathon and click Find a Team. Here, you can explore all existing teams or filter by local event, challenge, desired skills, or languages spoken. You can see if a team is looking for members by looking for the yellow Seeking Members bar at the top. You can also navigate to your local event page and explore the teams that have formed at your local event by clicking on the Teams tab. From here, you can again join the existing team or create a team. If you'd like to join the existing team, click on the Request to Join button. Then fill out the form to send your request. Team owners can approve or deny all pending requests. Team owners will receive an email notifying them of pending requests and they will find the pending requests on their team page to approve or deny. If you have requested to join a team, you will receive an email indicating whether your request was denied or approved. Once your request is approved, you will find your team owner's contact information on the Members tab. If you would like to cancel a request, click Cancel Request. You will also have the option to leave the team in the Members tab of your team page. If you'd like to create your own team, click the Create a Team button that you can find at the top of the Teams tab on your selected challenge or the top of the Find a Team page. Once you click the button, you'll be prompted to enter information about your team. Select one challenge to address and your local event. Then select desired skills that you're looking for in other team members, the languages that you speak, and if you are accepting team members, You'll want to do this to 
help people find your team and request to join. Then you'll want to add a description about your interest skills, what you're thinking about when you want to address the challenge. Finally, enter your contact information so that your team members can reach you. Please note that this information is only visible to accepted team members. Then you'll click create a team. As the team owner, you will be able to accept members. You will find them under the members tab. And if you have any, they will show up here. We ask that you approve or deny those requests in a timely manner. This is also where contact information will be seen. Again, you will only see this if you are a member of the team. For further information about choosing a challenge, joining a team, or forming a team, please refer to the team formation guide on the resources page. Good luck on choosing your challenge and forming your team. Don't forget to follow us on X, Facebook, and Instagram for the latest updates to connect with the global NASA Space Apps community.